Hi, my level seven pioneers. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the timeline. In the first question, they are saying Sophie invests 4,600 rands for four years at 10% per annum simple interest. Thereafter, she invests the accumulated amount for another two years at 12% per annum compounded interest. Calculate how much she will have saved at the end of six years. So what I encourage uh, on this question is that you draw a timeline before you do your things, right? Before you take all of your marks, isn't it? So what you must stress yourself first when you are drawing a timeline is a time, right? Here we are going to be having T0, right? T0 is where Sophie is investing is the, is the time period of now about what is Sophie doing right now isn't it so at the end of how many years at the end of six years that's why here i'm going to say t6 so what happens what happens is that sophie invest 4600 rands so our present amount our principal amount is going to be equals to 4600 rands at t0 and then after that what happens after four years uh, Sophie is then changing uh, the plan, isn't it? So after four years, that means this is T0 and then we are going to sort out um, the time. Here is uh, four years. So what happens uh, for the first four years? They are saying Sophie invests 4,600 rand for four years at 10% per annum simple interest. So we know that for the first four years, Sophie invest these 4600 rands at what at um at uh 10 per annum and we know that um it is a simple interest basis isn't it it is a simple interest basis and then sophie watched a video from tutoring success and she realized that no a compounded interest uh, plan is better than a simple one, isn't it? So I will link that video on your screen right now whereby we we see the difference between a simple and, and, and a compounded interest. So probably Sophie watched that video and then she was like, no, let me go for a compounded interest uh, savings plan. So on the last two years, what does Sophie does Sophie changes the plan to to 12% per annum because she is watching uh, to turn success and then we we take a note that it is compounded right it is compounded is not on a simple interest it is compounded interest so now we can tackle the questions so they are saying how much she will have made at the end of six years so they want to know our final amount here isn't it they want to know this final amount so what are we going to do guys we are going to first treat the first four years we are going to say a which is our final amount is equals to p plus one plus i n because it was on a simple interest basis but we know that after four years it's going to change and is going to be a compounded one so a compounded one we are simply going to say one plus i to the power of n right so someone can ask me or one of you level seven pioneers can ask me that we know that a compounded interest it must have a p here yes that's correct so the reason why i'm not writing our p our present amount is because after four years we are going to get this money and this money is going to be what is going to be our present amount when it is four years but when when we are starting is going to be our future amount but when we are at four years it's going to be what is going to be our present amount please if i am making any sense please uh, <laughs> comment level seven by the on the comment section below because i'm trying to to explain this guys so so the reason why i'm not having a p on my formula here is because this uh, first four years is going to be my p my present amount at four years 
hopefully i'm making sense at, at at four years so we are going to substitute our present amount at t0 is going to be 4600 rands and multiplied by one plus i our i is 10 so we are going to say 10 divided by 100 times by for how many years for four years and then we are going to take this present amount that's why i am introducing our square brackets we are going to take this present amount you're going to multiply it with the last two years of the savings plan so this one is compounded so we are going to say one plus 12 divided by 100 to the power of 2 because it's only compounded for the last two years that's why we are using 2 so you are simply going to punch this on your calculator my level 7 pioneers and then you are going to be getting um 8078 rand 34 cents <laughs> so hopefully uh, i'm making any sense guys so if you are having any questions please post them on our comment section below so let's go to our next question on our next question we are having no no lean no lean invested at an interest rate of six percent uh, per annum compounded this is what is most important that we know it is compounded right and then for a period of four years thereafter the interest rate changes uh, to seven percent per annum uh, compounded annually for a further two years calculate the future value of the investment at the end of six years so the mistake that i've made here is that i didn't write how much did she invest so uh, when i double check here i can see that nolene invested nine thousand rands right she invested nine thousand rands so let's take this question we know that at t0 nolene what does nolene do at t0 at t0 nolene invest an amount of nine thousand rands so this is our principal amount and then after after how many years after four years nolene um changes the interest rates so and then after that we are having our 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 final final amount which is t6 so we have solved what our time so now we are going to solve what our our um, our interest rate so from t0 up until to t4 what does nolin uh, n on her savings he ends an amount of or the p or or the percentage of seven i mean six percent six percent per annum and we need to know that it is compounded it is compounded and then for the last for the last two years what does happen what does it happens what happens what happens so and uh, 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 for our last two years uh, the savings changes from six percent per annum to seven percent per annum and it is still compounded right so since it is compounded we know that we are going to be using the very same uh, formula right so we are going to say a is equals to p 1 plus i to the exponent of n and then we multiply it by 1 plus i to the power of n because we are having two um, uh, uh, two investment plans like 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 the interest uh, rates that they have changed for two times and it's still compounded it didn't change like our first like our first question on our first question we had a simple interest and a compound interest but here we are having two compounded interest right so we are going to say a is equals to our present amount is going to be nine thousand and our percentage is going to be let's say uh, let's say six divided by a hundred to the power of four years 
and then we introduce our square square brackets we are going to be having one plus seven divided by hundred raised to the power of two and then you are simply going to punch this on your calculators my level seven pioneers and you should be getting thirteen thousand and eight rand sixty nine cents parallel so if you are having any questions guys please post them on our comment section below i'll make sure that i get back to you and if this video was available to you make sure that you like and then you share with your classmates who needs the very same help so thank you very much for watching our video and on our next video we are going to tackle an exam uh, question from now on, we are busy with exam questions for our grade 10 level 7 pioneers. Cheers, guys.